Welcome to FX Options University, recorded live at the International Securities Exchange, the world's largest equity options exchange. Join the industry's top trading professionals as they provide insight and strategies for trading in the currency markets using FX options. FX options are a low-risk alternative to hedging currency moves in any market condition. Now, the next strategy with which we're going to discuss is that of a short strangle. Now, in the short straddle, what we had seen was uh, you, you saw the zero points on the pricing points for the short straddle. With the short strangle, the pricing points and the break-even where we can make money goes out a little bit further. Short strangle is when you sell a call and a put on the same underlying with different strike prices. You're selling an out-of-the-money call and an out-of-the-money put, both naked. And what your hope is is that it stays within that range. Now, before we were collecting over $5,000 on that 10-lot straddle. The strangle, we're only going to collect about $2,300 on this. But what the trade-out is is that you have a wider margin of error, so to speak, in that the market can move a lot more and stay within a wider range, and you can still get your maximum profit, so to speak. So conceptually, this is the same as the short straddle, it's just that there's less premium collected. So you're trading out premium for wiggle room, so to speak. Folks, no matter what you do in trading, I don't care if you're buying calls or if you're doing gamma neutral scalping on the S&P, there's always, or the spiders or whatever, there's always a trade out in every strategy, uh, no matter what you do. So you need to kind of accept the fact that Risk is something that you'll never get rid of. Getting rid of risk doesn't exist. The only way to not have risk is to not trade. What you're doing when you change strategies is you are shifting risk. So, for example, let's say that you own a stock and you want to buy a put option to protect the value of that stock. Okay, did you get rid of risk? I say no. You did not get rid of risk by buying that put option to protect that stock. You shifted your risk. The reason I say that is if the stock stays the exact same, the put expires worthless, and you lost your money when buying the put. However, if the stock were to go to zero, then you have that protection put in place. You shifted your risk from stock price risk to premium risk, and that's what trading is all about. It's about shifting the risk to whatever you feel works best for you as a trader. Now, why would we do the straddle and the strangle? Well, conceptually, it is the same trade. It's just a different risk or reward. But there's three main reasons as to why you would consider doing these trades, be it a straddle or a strangle. Conceptually, once again, it's the same thing, uh, just a different risk reward. Let's examine the three reasons with which you would, con you would consider doing these three trades. First off, delta. Let's say that you're a directional trader, and oftentimes this is how a beginning straddle or strangle trader will look at a trade. Let's say XYZ is about to break out of a range. Uh, XYZ can be the yen, the euro, the Aussie dollar, whatever the case may be. You don't know which way it's going, so you decide to buy a call and a put. So with that being said, you're taking on a lot of premium risk. Instead of just buying a call option, you're buying a call and a put, so it's going to be twice as much in a lot of cases. Now, with that being said, if it moves enough, you can benefit from one while the other has a limited risk. So let's say that you have a lot of movement on one side, that the, the yen, the euro, the Aussie dollar, or whatever you're using moves a lot. Well, you'll make a lot of money on the one option, but the other one just simply expires worthless, perhaps. So with that, this is a way with which you can use the straddle as well as the strangle based upon direction. Now, with that, the flip side of that coin is let's say, and let's go through the disadvantages. Like I said, the premium is twice as much, and this does double the time decay risk. Let's say that you're anti-delta, meaning that you think that there's not going to be a lot of movement in this specific underlying. Well, if you're anti-delta, you can sell this naked short straddle or naked short strangle. You believe that the market's going to stay around the same area. Now, never fear the market, but always respect it. In this example, you will be naked. Make sure that you fully understand and respect the risk that's being involved in that. 
Now, with that being said, you need to have a trading clearance to trade naked options in your brokerage account as well. The other thing about this is that when you sell a naked strangle or straddle, you only have a margin requirement on one side of it, depending on your broker. And most brokers allow this. So normally, let's say you had X for the margin requirement for selling the naked put. If you also sell a naked call at the same time, there won't be any additional margin requirement. Reason being is that it's mathematically impossible to lose on both sides of it. You're only going to lose on one side of it. So uh, exchanges, as well as margin departments, brokerages, they recognize that and they allow margin uh, to be leveraged like that when doing uh, the short straddle or the short strangle. Now what it's usually done is they will take the larger of the two margin requirements. So whichever one would be larger, the call margin requirement or the put margin requirement, that's typically uh, how it would work on the margin side of it. Now once again, with this, movement is your enemy. If that underlying moves a lot, it can hurt, and it can hurt bad. If it doesn't move that much, well, hey, you got some premium out of the deal, and you saw the, the range with which it could work in the previous slides. Now, the disadvantage of this, you're doubling your chance of losing in comparison to just selling one naked option. If you just sell a naked put, if the currency goes through the roof, then you're going to be in pretty good shape. But you don't get as much premium. That's the trade-out, so to speak. By doing this as a naked straddle, you have the unlimited risk. And like I said, the underlying must stay within a specific range. Now the next reason with which you would consider doing something along these lines would be for that of vega, or for volatility. There's six factors of option pricing. And assuming all other factors remain constant, if we have an increase in implied volatility, then the option will increase in value, whether it's a call or a put. If we have a decrease in implied volatility, then the option will decrease in, in value, whether it's a call or a put. Once again, that's assuming all other factors remain constant. So with that being said, let's say that you have a belief that implied volatility as a group is going to go higher on the euro, the yen, the Aussie dollar, whatever the case may be. One thing with which you can do is buy a straddle. If you think it's going to go up higher, volatility that is, then you would benefit from it if you are right. If all other factors remain constant and you have an increase in implied volatility, then the values of those options would increase. That's another reason with which you would consider buying a straddle. Now, a question would come up, why not just buy a call or just buy a put? Well, you don't have an opinion as to where the market's going to go. You're not, you want to be delta neutral. You want this to be a vega play, a volatility play, so to speak. And if that's the case, then by having a call and a put in place, it won't matter so much which way the market goes because the trade would be neutralized. Now, keep in mind, you'll have to adjust it and keep it neutral, so to speak. But the point is, is that you're long vega. If volatility goes up, you're in a good position a lot of times. Not every time, but a lot of times if you buy this straddle. Thank you for participating in this week's session. Please join us again next week. Get trading ideas, exchange rates, webinars, news, and commentary. Visit www.fxoptions.com. ISE FX Options can be easily traded through all options-enabled brokerage accounts. These exchange-listed securities are cash-settled in U.S. dollars and have a European-style exercise.